And we're back. Yeah, more Immortal Vampires on Two Gay Guys Play. So the last episode, I think you got to walk around a table. Yeah. <laughs> that was gameplay for and, ten minutes. Then I basically said Gamergate is garbage, which you are. If you are in Gamergate, do not watch our show. <laughs> yeah. Which you won't anyway, because you don't believe in gay people. <laughs> don't believe in them, just like Santa or the Easter Bunny. They just don't exist. No man wants to put another penis in his face. But they do. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> if you don't like gay people, <laughs> it's because you're gay. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> you're, afraid, you're secretly afraid that penises are delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's uh, Joe Rogan. Yeah, he's like, if you're homophobic, it's either because you're stupid or you're secretly afraid penises are delicious. <laughs> They are. <laughs> Spoilers. Don't you? No man in the room. We got a peanut butter from danger when she's up. No, we got some. Right. Great. Anyway, just for each other. We don't have a dog or anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just weird role play <laughs> that you get too into. I do. No, just in general. Oh, oh, oh okay. weird role play. Oh, I guess is that Nikola Tesla? Because it looks like Nikola oh, Tesla. Is he wearing one glove like a tool? God, Michael Jackson got nothing on Nikola Tesla. Oh. I'm sorry, you you have already had the greatest actor of all time playing you in a movie. Uh, whom? David Bowie plays him in The well, Prestige. Oh, wow. Didn't know. Intriguing that, things, if I never so. watched it, so. Is that Tesla? Because, I mean, he looks like a dork, which he should. Uh, Tesla looked like a dork, but. Good. His face looks like, yeah. I'm not sure. He's also very young. True. Huh? Which I don't, I don't know how old he would be at this point. Yeah. I don't remember what his like lifespan was. Lichens on the United India Company's front doorstep. What do you make of it? I mean, his accent sounds... He's, he's from Serbia. Uh, so sounds like, like it's Yuri Lowenthal, who has done voices like this before in like Resident Evil 6. But... Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my... New experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around. Yeah, I believe that's him. Uh, yeah, I don't know anyway, what accent he's offensive. doing, but at the same time, but like... Do be careful. Okay, we definitely have recordings of Nikola Tesla. <laughs> like... True. You could... You, you could fix that. Just look around. Okay. I mean, Explore fine. the lab. All right, pick up a newspaper again. Ha-ha. Oh, yeah. yep. <laughs> I like that he drew on Thomas Edison's face. <laughs> yeah. are... <laughs> Not on May the best man win. Your friend Thomas. And then he drew him as and Satan. It's weird that it kind of floats on the paper. Shh. Shh. Don't, Don't point out the technical imperfections in this game. Yeah. What is that? I want whatever that is. Uh, hook shot? Quite an antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Uh, Walkie-talkies. Yeah, if you have walkie-talkies, you shut the fuck up. It's the 1880s. Yeah. Like, I don't know what fucking universe you live in. Okay. Uh, whatever. I guess. All gibberish to me. Uh, Refined ladies in waiting, all, all sizes, plump and petite. I mean, that's good. He's just drawing on the back of ads, which is a very scientist thing to do, so right. I guess. Like, okay, so there's a what I assume is the corpse of a pig hanging over there for us to Jeez, test weapons on. I hope so. You guys talk to him? I guess. Hey, buddy. You gonna? Uh, Sir Galahad. Yes. Oh. Where, where are you? There we go. Is that, is that you? Give me more lightning guns. Yeah, I can't tell from the back which one you are. What? Please, this way. Okay. All right. I don't have a button prompt yet, so I don't know what you want me to. There we go. Aha. Here is something you may find interesting. Uh, yes, Everything, I do. Everything here in your lab, I will find interesting. Efficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Yep, which we still my use. Yeah. Overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. Uh, can you like give me subtitles, which I would appreciate? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Like. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier. <laughs> with some brass rectifier. And <laughs> oh, and a fine leather carry case. Because it sounds like he's talking about butts. That's what we're saying. is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Sure. Cool. Please try it. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm going for it. And he's like, no, not like that. Yeah. Like when the mercury... Okay. Move the sticks and get them in between the red things. Oh, click and hold. Um. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Ah. That was 
You never cease to amaze Weirdly me. difficult to, <laughs> to do. Yeah. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. I don't like your weird headscarf. Like, if you just weren't wearing that. Right. I mean, good on you for protecting your greasy, greasy hair from all this fire. But, yeah. like... You make me, did you make me a sniper rifle? Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sense. Uh, okay. You can see Saturn. <laughs> <shoot. laughs> and shoot it in its smug face. Uh, <laughs> that'll teach it to have rings. <laughs> Alright, I know what a gun is. Like, I'm not well, trying to be sassy here. Like, I, I know how to load a gun. I, human... Human who hosts the show know how to, like, load a gun. That's impressive, because I do not. It's not that hard. Yeah. Recoil a shot. Imagible. Toggle the magnification. Yeah. I can hold L3 to that. I'll hold your breath. I'm like oh. a sniper rifle. Some muffin yeah. might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. Yeah, you better. They were like, you know how we're going to get points with nerds? Put Nikola Tesla in this game. You know what we're going to do? Make him look like a shy nerd. Wish he was. But, yeah. like... Yeah. Where are your pigeons? Show me your pigeons. Uh, alright. I hope that's not... Is Lafayette in this weird Order 1886? I mean, that's fine. But I want to know. Is this the time that he would be alive? Ah, uh, no. He died in the 1830s. Oh. Uh. Not if he is an immortal werewolf hunter. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, let, is that's cool. Lafayette Lafayette's neat. But I doubt area. that since his yeah, name was Lafayette and not like Percival Why not or Lancelot. Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. That's probably not going to happen. Maybe I that's Lafayette, but it's times, not like of a French slash American Lafayette. More yeah. experience looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galad. <laughs> Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. And I'll rip it off. One day. Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into White Who's in what wars now? Uh, it's the 1880s. I don't know. I think it's just a, 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 a nondescript rebellion. Like, Crimea is like 20 years before this. Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I think Crimea is the 1860s or 1870s. It might be 1880s. Never accept. But Crimea is, you know, it's not where we are right now. Century. Gotcha. Like, and there's almost always, like, rebellion against England and India. True. Stay vigilant. Because that's what happens when you come into a country we and try and own it. Yeah. People aren't uh, big fans. Ah, yeah, just in general. A nest of cut purses. All right. Now we're in this. chapter three already. All right. I knew it very differently once. Okay. You know, it's, I noticed that's kind of weird. Hmm. Not a single trophy has popped, so it's not giving me, like, arbitrary advancement trophies. That's good. That was before yeah. even my time. This is I'm just expecting, like, a game like this no, to just give me a trophy every ten seconds. Yeah. For just, like, thanks for buying our game. Wow, way to go. Good job, buddy. Wait, oh, can you not open a door? Okay. <laughs> oh, we have to work together. Okay, that's fine. Like, it's heavy. Yeah. I get it, sure. We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Uh, you know I can still open that door, right? Yeah, could you leave it open for me? That'd be cool. Alright, oh, that's right. They said we're, I'm oh, teaming right. up with, with douche. We're pairing off. I'm, I'm a douche because I'm French, you see. <laughs> I mean, that's how I always understood things. Yeah. Look at this pipe! The ashes are still warm. I don't know why. Just pour it out, start a fire, and leave. Yeah. Being like, that's what you got for being poor. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Even though you can afford tobacco. Tobacco's cheap. Oh, well. Things I did not know. Yeah. I didn't live in the 1880s, and I don't smoke now, so. Tobacco is basically cheap until we figure out we can tax the shit out of it. Ah. Uh, uh. There's lots tobacco of only. You. Tobacco just, like, only grows in, like, three or four areas. Hmm. Chuck an apple at us. Are you really going to be a dick? You're such a dick. Look at this apple. Are you serious with this? Okay. I have to look at everything that I come across. Alright. I, I mean... R2. I mean... Oi. 
Uh, that's there's the most British thing imaginable. <laughs> Just a, a rugged old man going, oi. <laughs> that guy's like, whatever. I don't give a shit. Uh-huh. I'd like it. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd like it if you pay for that apple. Thanks. All right. I guess we'll punch some dudes next time on Two Gay Guys Play. Oh, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah.